you know, there's a this sort of old sense that that a soldier who gives his life for his country is a hero, and and these people have given their life for their country, and so there is a feeling, I think, a natural feeling that why should I burden the family or complicate the thing further for them? I would love to believe that they're trying to protect us from the pain of knowing our sons were killed by friendly fire. But it's just, just not knowing the truth causes more pain. People might think that you can't take it, but what you want to know is you want to know exactly what happened. You want to envision exactly what happened. You want a picture in your mind. Did you ever bump yourself in the head? Where you, somehow when you bang your own head, it hurts more. It just does, right? You bang your head into, you know, like, wow, well, that's stupid guy. You got no one else to blame. So there's something very, there's something very different about fratricide or blue and blue friendly fire. It's, I mean, nothing's worse than you know, inflicting damage on your own people or yourself. Individuals may sometimes act in a way to cover their own rear end, but the army as an institution, I think, uh, generally avoids the cover-up syndrome. We make mistakes. And I think any honest person in the Army understands that we make mistakes and is willing to admit that we 